In this tutorial, I will show you how to share one note across multiple accounts. That means you could share your OneNote notebook from a free version of OneNote to a paid version of OneNote. If your free version OneNote has a different email ID than your paid version of OneNote. So let's get started. The reason I'm making this video is because of a request from one of my viewers who asked this question in my previous video where I discussed the differences between free and the paid OneNote. This is the free OneNote version. So how can we move this to the paid one? The most important thing is the account that you log in into your OneNote. So go up here and check the email ID that you use to log in into the free version of your OneNote. If that email ID is same as the paid version, then it doesn't matter whether it's free or paid. All you need to do is to just log in with the same email ID on the paid OneNote and you will be able to access all the OneNotes from the paid version. However, if you want to keep the two emails separate, that means you want to have a separate email ID for your free version and a separate email ID for your paid version, you still could do and I'm going to show you how to do that. There are different ways to do it, but I'm going to show you to do it in the simplest way. First, make sure it is synced on this icon and then basically all we need to do is to share our notebook with the other email ID that we got that has got the paid version. So enter the email ID, make sure you allow the person to edit and then click on share. So now it is shared because we gave the other person the privileges to edit this one note is same as the other person has now got the full right of the same notebook. So now we can simply close this. If you have got OneDrive installed on your phone, then you might get a notification on your phone, just like I have got in here, saying that this guy, another email ID, has shared with you a notebook. Basically, you need to touch it, then it brings you in here, then touch back, and then you would see your notebooks, including the one that I've just shared, which was called Meeting Notes, start appearing on your phone. So if I select it, it shows on my phone, it shows the page, and when I open the page, everything is there. So now that we accepted OneNote from our phone, after getting a notification through our OneDrive, you could go to your computer and open the paid OneNote. Again, don't forget, if you log in with the same email ID, you should have access regardless of whether it was created in the paid or free version because all the OneNotes are saved in your OneDrive account. So now that we are in the paid version, go and click on the file. And if you don't see the recently shared notebook, then what you need to do is to click on here, view sync status, and then click on sync all. If you don't see it there, then click under here, under any notebook that you got and then click on open other notebooks and you should find it in here and if for some reason you still don't see the one note just make sure to go to the file then go to account then click on manage settings under account privacy and make sure experiences that download online content is also checked also check this tick mark underneath experiences that analyzes your content. So these are all checked. Click on OK. Click on OK. Close your OneNote. And let's open the OneNote again. Let's click under here. And hopefully you should be able to see the shared notebook appearing in here. So if you are still having problems, with opening the OneNote on the paid version, then what you can do, you can come here again, go to your notebook that you want to share, and then come again here and click on share. As you can see, the person's name is still there, but what you can do is click on it, and then click on 
invite again also right click on here and click on sync and click on sync this notebook so let's close this and let's open the paid version now and let's click on here and then click on open other one notes then you should be able to see it in here under notebooks and it was called meeting notes if you remember so if i select it by double clicking it will open and it's shared with us and we can do whatever we want in here because we got the editing rights if you're still having problems opening one note from the paid version then go to your onedrive using the free version account and then go to the documents folder and then you should see there your OneNote notebook saved. So make sure you're logged in with your browser and then simply right click on it and then click on open in OneNote. Then it will ask you always allow OneNote Live to open links of this type. Click on open pick an app. Then you can choose between the free one and the paid one. Obviously then select the paid one, click on open. And here it is. We have managed to finally open the notebook from our paid version, which we copied or shared from our free version. So now we can simply close the free one. And if I close the paid one, and you can close this if you want to. Now let's open OneNote again. And you can see it shows up in here. And now the problem is solved. You could easily continue working on your notebook on your paid version of OneNote. You could also change its location so that it will be saved in your paid version account of OneDrive. To do that, right click on the notebook and then click on properties. And in here you see the location, just click on change location. Find the location that your other notebooks are saved in OneDrive and then go to that folder and click on select. And then you should get a message saying your notebook is now syncing to the new location. Click OK. Now, if I will click on file, it will show me the information of all the notebooks I have got. And this one that we have just added is saved in our paid version account of our OneDrive. That means we got a physical copy of the notebook in our account. Just to reduce any conflict, make sure when you're logged in into your free OneNote with that account that you're logged in into the OneNote is also the same account that you're logged in into your OneDrive because OneDrive and OneNote are very much in link with each other. So if they are in conflict, you might get some errors and difficulties in moving your notebook from one OneNote to another OneNote because of the mismatch between OneDrives as well. So basically log out from OneDrive and OneNote from one of the accounts and then log in into OneDrive first and then OneNote into the other account that you got with the paid version. Again, this is just to minimize any risks of conflicts. You don't necessarily have to do this. First try the straightforward way and the easiest way is, as I mentioned, by opening the link using the paid version when you go to your OneDrive folder and finding the notebook from there. Before wrapping up, I have to just mention that you could use this method to share OneNote with others. So when you're in a meeting, you make a meeting notes. Other people in the same meeting that you have shared OneNote could also see the notes that you're making on that notebook. I hope you find this tip useful. If you do, please don't forget to watch my other videos as well as to subscribe to support my channel.